Hey everybody, this is Jen Blinn with Ginger Snaps TV, also reporting for the Dallas Entertainment Journal. I am at the American Airlines Center on this beautiful day in Dallas, Texas for the 2013-2014 Mavs Media Day. Now what's going on today is all the players have been out, they've been taking photos. We're about to head up to the interview live room and listen to the coach talk about the 2013-2014 season. I'm in a rush because I want to run up there and hear what they're talking about. So I'm talking really fast right now. So I'm going to go upstairs, hear what they're talking about, bring you guys some sound bites. So stay tuned. Yeah. No, we, we got to keep Dirk at a reasonable level. I, I don't want to throw a number out there, but, you know, it's in the, it's in the low, it's in the low thirties per game. And, you know, we want to keep Vince in the mid twenties. And then, you know, I mean, Sean has been uh, really durable for us, uh, but, you know, I don't want to overplay him either. You know, um, and we got younger guys that need to step it up and need to establish themselves more going into the second year. Second year, guys like Crowder, and, you know, I think Sarge has got to be is going to be more ready to play this year. Um, and he did a good job for us last year. And you know, Brandon Wright, we got back, and I think we're excited about him. And, and so, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of guys that uh, are going to be really important. This summer, this summer uh, J Kid bought a piece of the Brooklyn Nets. Shaq bought a piece of the Kings. When you retired, have you ever thought of asking Q for a piece of the team? Uh, I haven't really thought about that. Um, but you better give me a job in some capacity. <laughs> uh, yeah, after, after all these years, uh, um, I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll, I'll find my niche once, once it is, once it gets that far. And, um, but for now, I still feel like I can play a couple more years, so we'll. we'll We'll get into all that once it gets closer. Did you say you have a chip on your shoulder this year, or do you mean more than every other year? Mm. Man. I don't know. Yeah, I'm fired up to play. I mean, we didn't make the playoffs for the first time in, in a long, long time. So obviously, we, I want to be in the playoffs again. So I don't know, a chip on the shoulder. I uh, haven't played since, since the middle of April, and it's been a long off season. So yeah, I'm I'm ready to go. And we have to make some uh, some decisions with, with the salary cap, and we we'll let some of the guys go. And that's uh, that's a direction we we took as a franchise, and so we all had to deal with it. Uh, it's been it's been two tough seasons. Uh, first year we, we barely made the playoffs and got swept, and then last year we missed the playoffs. So hopefully we're we're going to be a little better than that, um, and I feel like we are. Um, so. We'll just see how, how far we can go. I think we're with a lot of new guys. It's going to take us a while to get used to each other. But um, once we do, I think I like the potential of the team. We, we got some drivers. We got some shooters. Uh, we got some playmakers. And uh, we got some defenders uh, with, with tricks and, and Dallinger. And, and hopefully we can, uh, we can all make it work and mesh. Everybody, this is Jen Blanton again for Ginger Snaps TV, also reporting for the Dallas Entertainment Journal. And that wraps up the 2013-2014 Mavs Media Day. As you just saw a few minutes ago, we heard from the coach, we heard from Dirk. Preseason starts right here at the American Airlines Center. Next Monday night, the Dallas Mavericks play the Atlanta Hawks starting at 730 the season opener is October 30th. So if you're looking to come down, watch some Dallas Mavericks play some basketball, come out either for preseason next week, or you can come at the start of the season, October 30th. This has been Jen Blanton for Ginger Snaps TV.